A cruise ship almost flips over during a massive storm. A rogue wave hits a tanker housing dangerous chemicals. Let's take a look at 15 ships that were caught in large storms. Number 15, cruise ship almost flips. Cruise ships are by design some of the most stable vessels on the ocean. With thousands of paying passengers on board, it's vital to keep them all safe. But sometimes weather conditions can put all of this at risk. While sailing off the coast of Mallorca in Spain, the Voyager cruise ship found itself in the midst of a storm that it wasn't prepared for. There was enough time to raise the alarm and rescue helicopters were sent to assist, but by the time they got there, it was already being pummeled by the waves. For some reason, it was side on, which isn't the best way to weather such a storm. And as the ship starts to roll back and forth, there's one moment where it looks almost certain to completely turn over. Somehow, it manages to right itself and crashes back down into the stormy sea. Eventually, it managed to return to port, and thankfully, no one on board was seriously injured. Although it's unlikely any passengers that day were in a rush to book their next voyage. Number 14. The Costa Deliciosa The residents of Venice aren't exactly enthralled by the number of cruise ships that pass through every day, and an incident from 2019 shows exactly why. The Costa Deliciosa was passing through one of the city's canals during stormy weather, and due to unpredictable currents, it was pushed perilously close to the Esplanada. Amongst terrified cries by the people on shore and the ship sounding its horn to warn anyone nearby, tugboats fight to pull the liner into its moorings to protect those on boards and on shore. It scrapes past small boats and a yacht with hailstones bouncing off its bow, but luckily it narrowly manages to miss the dock and brings it under control. Amazingly, no one was injured and no damage was caused, but Venetian authorities launched an investigation to show how it happened and whether the ships had the right permits to have even attempted sailing in such conditions. Number 13, Norwegian Fishing Trawler. The Peter Henry von Koss is a Norwegian salvage and rescue vessel that's specifically designed to operate in dangerous weather conditions. In 1997, though, even it was pushed to the limits while escorting a fishing boat that had been suffering from engine problems. Filmed from the rescue boat, the huge waves can be seen rocking the boats back and forth, and you can only imagine how it felt to be on board the ship while it was thrown about like this. Had it not been for the actions of the rescue boat, there's no way the crew of the fishing trawler would have made it back to shore alive. And it's videos like this that show the extreme conditions that sailors have to face when trying to land their catch. Number 12, Navy Ship in the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean, often referred to as the Antarctic Ocean, is by far the most treacherous sea on Earth. With no large land masses to break up the wind or waves, conditions there can become dangerous fast. Waves regularly reach more than 32 feet high, with a recent record breaker being measured at a gigantic 64 feet, which means that only the hardiest of ships can ever try to navigate it. As one of the countries that's closest to Antarctica, the New Zealand Navy often has to negotiate monster waves in the Southern Ocean just to reach anywhere else on Earth. Here, during a training mission, one of their ships is hit by the biggest wave many of the crew had ever seen, and it's incredibly lucky that nobody was on deck at the time. The wave breaks on the bow and covers the ship in water, completely blocking the view for a few seconds until it clears. Had anyone been standing there at the time, they would have certainly been washed into the sea, and with a storm like that, there would have been no chance of rescue whatsoever. Number 11, Rogue Wave versus Chemical Tanker. Rogue waves are ones that can seemingly form out of nowhere, and in many cases will exert a far greater force on a ship than it's designed to withstand. The main danger comes from their unpredictability, and with little time to react, vessels have only a matter of seconds to try to orientate themselves in the right direction before it strikes. This can be particularly concerning when a cruise ship finds itself on the path of one of these waves. But even more potentially dangerous is when one impacts a cargo vessel containing hazardous substances. In 2015, while sailing in the Bay of Biscay, a chemical tanker found itself in this predicament, and the crew had no choice but to watch it as it careened into the side. Striking with a huge amount of energy, the ship is sent swaying side to side, and at points almost seems as if it's about to flip over entirely. 
The amount of spray and froth that's generated shows how severe this incident actually was and is almost unbelievable considering how calm the sea ahead is. Number 10. The Corryvreckan Whirlpool The Gulf of Corryvreckan is a narrow strait of water between the Scottish islands of Eura and Scarba, and because of its unique geography where strong currents from the Atlantic Ocean pass through, it's the site of some of the most dangerous oceanic conditions in the world. Ships often fall foul of the standing waves that develop here, but the most dangerous thing is the whirlpool, the third largest in the world and one that is so noisy it can be heard more than 10 miles away. During the spring tides, it's particularly powerful, and in 2013 a lifeboat drove straight into its reach. These vessels are powerful enough to cope with all but the most treacherous of storms, which shows just how dangerous the whirlpool is. It's pulled into the maelstrom, and despite powering up to full throttle, it was unable to escape. In the end, due to the clever maneuvers of the captain, it was finally able to break free. But had this been any other type of vessel, it would have ended in disaster. Number 9. Sailboat in Marina The most popular type of private vessels around the world are motorized sailboats, and while they face their greatest challenges when they're out in the open water, there's always the possibility that those on board could find themselves in danger when they're seemingly safely moored in a marina. Many owners don't even take their ships out, but this video is a reminder that during a storm, nowhere is completely safe. As the dark clouds hover above, a heavy rainstorm moves in. All of the boats in the Port Dover Harbor Marina have been locked down to prevent the wind from blowing them into one another. But there's a threat in this storm no one can do anything to avoid. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning strikes down from the sky and makes contact with the mast of the Sea Warrior. With thousands of volts passing through it, a cloud of smoke is released, and the crack of the impact is so loud that it startles local wildlife, even those that are on the other side of the bay. It's lucky that no one was on board at the time, but after inspecting it the next day, the owners found that surprisingly few repairs were needed. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Tanker Forced Aground The MV Fedra was a 36,000-ton cargo carrier vessel that was used to transport containers throughout the Mediterranean and beyond. But in 2008, it became embroiled in a storm that was subjected to gale-force winds that pushed it onto the southernmost tip of Gibraltar. The initial impact was so severe that the ship lost all control, and a major incident was immediately declared. The Spanish Coast Guard sent a helicopter that airlifted five of the 31 crew directly to hospital, while the rest were rescued by a crane. Soon after the last person was taken to safety, the vessel broke in half, and 300 tons of fuel were spilled into the water. In the following days, local authorities were able to prevent it from becoming a permanent wreck by refloating the forward section and towing it to a nearby harbor, while the rear section was slowly taken apart piece by piece, along with the remaining fuel that was carefully pumped away. Number 7. Coast Guard Training Coast Guard vessels never quite know what they'll be facing each day. Sometimes they'll be chasing smugglers, while other times they'll be rescuing ships that have become stranded at sea. To keep prepared, they have to train in the most dangerous of conditions, as this video that was recorded in November of 2007 shows. A storm had blown over in the entrance of the Shetko River Bar in Oregon, and was the perfect opportunity for a training exercise. Two 47-foot boats were used in various maneuvers, which included the rescue of a dummy that had been thrown into the water. With waves reaching up to 11 feet at their peak, the boats were pushed to their limits, being continually pounded from all directions. Incredibly, the crew managed to stay in position and completed their drills in a textbook fashion. If you ever find yourself in a wreck in conditions similar to these, you'd better hope that it's a crew like this that's sent to rescue you. Number 6. The MS Nordnorg The MS Nordnorg is a passenger cruise ship that's used to tricky weather. It sails in the North Sea, making stops all the way up into the Arctic Circle. But in January of 2020, it took on more than it could handle. As it was preparing to dock in Bodo, Norway, it found itself in the midst of a powerful storm. Despite having dropped its anchor, the wind took hold and blew it sideways directly towards the port and left the crew with no choice but to try and bring it in safely. 
As it slowly moved into position, and with the engines roaring at full power just to keep it under control, somehow the captain managed to dock safely. Workers on the dock helped him to guide it in, with the bow connecting first and the stern following soon after. The churn in the water below shows just how much effort was needed to perform this safely, and at points the ship was being tilted over to an uncomfortable angle. Number 5. On Board During a Hurricane With wind speeds in excess of 74 miles per hour, but potentially reaching more than twice that, hurricanes are some of the most dangerous weather formations seen anywhere on Earth. They cause unbelievable destruction to the islands and communities that lie in their path. But while you may stand a chance of surviving if you ride it out on dry land, it's a whole different problem if you're on a boat at the time. One of the most deadly in living memory was Hurricane Katrina, which in 2005 swept across the Caribbean, into the Gulf of Mexico, and then inland over New Orleans. At some stages, it reached Category 5 and remains the costliest hurricane ever. At the time that it struck, a family was taking a vacation on a charter boat called Quicksilver on the Mississippi coast. And with nowhere close to run for shelter, they had no choice but to hope for the best as it passed. With massive waves swelling around them, those on board could only watch the local news as it charted the hurricane's progression, and looked outside to see the trees bending in the wind, and another vessel being pushed into shore. Many other boats nearby were completely destroyed, but luckily had nobody on them at the time, while the Quicksilver miraculously survived the storm with only minor damage. It clearly could have ended much worse than this, and someone must have been looking down kindly on them that day for it to end the way that it did. Number 4. Lost Cargo Cargo ships are the backbone of our planet's economy, responsible for carrying at least 90% of the world's goods. Each ship carries tens of millions of dollars worth of products at a time, and it's the responsibility of the crew on board to ensure that they make it to their destination safely and on time. Sometimes, however, the conditions at sea make this almost impossible, especially when fully loaded with containers. In 2018, the Australian Coast Guard was put on high alert when the 50,000-ton YM efficiency was caught in a storm while en route from Taiwan to Sydney. The swells about 20 miles from the coast crashed into the side of the ship, and dislodged at least 80 containers that fell into the ocean. The rest were saved and the vessel was brought into port, but by then the damage had been done. It wasn't immediately clear what was being carried, but there were concerns for the local wildlife when debris began to be washed up on shore. Local residents and cleanup crews removed large quantities of plastic materials, packaged foods, sanitary items, and diapers, which posed particular risks for animals like whales, dolphins, and turtles. Incidents like these show how full to capacity these vessels have to be to make a profit, and the risks they run if the containers aren't adequately secured just in case they face unpredictable conditions. Number 3. Alaskan Fishing Trawler The Gulf of Alaska sits beneath the coastline where Alaska joins with Canada and is notorious for the violent storms that form in the region. While most ships simply stay away when these weather systems are expected to move in, sometimes they have no choice but to try to power through. In some cases, this can be disastrous, such as in the case of the fishing vessel called Linda's Draw. It was sailing through the Gulf in 1988 and found itself surrounded by increasingly powerful waves. A nearby ship filmed the trawler as it was thrown about by the storm, but no one could have predicted what would have happened next. As it passed into Icy Bay, the 47-foot-long boat manages to survive just about everything that's thrown at it. But suddenly, a giant wave hurtles towards it and completely flips it over. The three-member crew of the boat survived the incident and were able to find refuge on the hull. It was only by chance that the other vessel was so close by and able to retrieve all of them. Because had it not been, there would have been virtually no chance of rescue. Within minutes, the boat was completely submerged, and in such cold temperatures, it would be impossible to survive for very long. Number 2. Sailing in a Hurricane If you're not lucky enough to be able to buy a yacht of your own, there is a way you can sail the seas in a luxury vessel. Owners often need them to be moved between ports and hire a crew to do the job for them. Normally, this is a fun cruise offering the opportunity to island hop across the Caribbean and have plenty of time in the sun. 
but there's a reason why only experienced captains are allowed to oversee these voyages, because there's always a chance you might run into dangerous weather. In 2018, while off the coast of the Bahamas, a crew found themselves in the path of Hurricane Anna. They were caught in severe gales and huge waves for nine days straight, and were forced to call the Coast Guard before they were too far out. The crew were experienced enough to cope with the stormy weather, but they faced a problem that needed to be sorted. They were running low on fuel. Luckily, there was a Russian oil tanker in the area that was able to meet up with them to refuel after the winds had subsided. So they were finally able to safely return to dry land to tell the tale. Number 1. USS Kitty Hawk The USS Kitty Hawk was a Kitty Hawk-class aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy. Launched in 1960, it carried out missions across the globe and witnessed the worst weather that could be thrown at it before finally being decommissioned in 2009. It's rare to see footage of an aircraft carrier at sea in particularly rough weather, but a passenger that was on board in 2008 was able to capture images of what happened when it encountered a typhoon on its way to the Yokosuka naval base. Huge waves crash against its bow, sending spray across the deck. The swell was, at times, more than 10 feet high, which sent the ship high into the air before crashing back down into the water. It's amazing that the jets remained on deck while all of this was happening without seeming to suffer from any damage. But the same couldn't be said for the aircraft carrier itself. Following this, the starboard side catwalk on the bow was severely damaged and had to be replaced, while the safety netting was torn clean off. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.